now we are focusing on another topic that is dispersion of light so uh, this is actually part of refraction only but we are calling this now as dispersion of light now you are aware that uh, when we are holding prism like this from side prism appear triangular but if you observe from these sides then it is having a rectangle shape so prism is basically having three rectangles these are rectangles three rectangles connected together this way the entire body of glass now suppose this is the incident radiation this is obviously you are aware now normal then a uh, first sign that this is incident radiation now uh, when light is traveling in this direction you are aware that this is air and this is glass so radiation should move towards normal so r is less than r now this is incident radiation here again normal is there to surface this will move away from this so this way actually light should travel uh, you can verify this by putting out quick pins over here two pins here observe from this side mark pin you are getting straight line in this direction supposed to be so this is the actually angle of deflection so this is the angle in which radiation change it on its path now while doing this there is a problem that uh, incident radiation is white in color then you may observe in proper holding this prism you may observe the light is dispersed out that means seven colors are separated from us this is the way we can consider light initially made up of seven colors white light now you are aware in spectrum that violet light is having minimum wavelength or maximum energy or maximum frequency whereas red light is having maximum wavelength minimum frequency and minimum energy try to recollect our spectra data according to uh, this uh, uh, what we can say frequency and wavelength also refraction is there and that's why we are getting refraction with various thing say for example red light is refracted to greater extent than violet violet light is refracted to greater extent than red <coughs> resulting in emerging radiation red and separated uh, red and violet are separated like other also so uh, here suppose i am getting out the spectra proper the first radiation as we discussed that red and violet they are separated so red is having minimum reflection whereas violet is having maximum refraction and we are getting the job the seven separated colors over here this is the way we can separate out white light into uh, its constituent colors now this separation we are calling as dispersion of light